Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome to part two of the exciting finale of Let's Play Wing Commander 3. Well, we've jumped into the Kill Ross system, and uh, now we're here at this refueling depot, which was disguised in an asteroid field, and fortunately we're in good shape. Now let me show you around the, uh, the uh, refueling depot a little bit. So first off, you have the refueling terminal, which is just like the main terminal back on the Victory. You can save your game, or all that kind of stuff. That's the Theta Class 2 refueling depot. And then we have the loadout terminal over here, so we can um, select our image rec missiles, because we'll be needing those for this next part. So, okay, let me just prepare my stuff real quick, and then we will go with this mission. All right, let's leave the refueling depot. If you're watching this, laddie, we're in good shape. Let's not waste any time. My boys have set up a the cover depot closer to the Kilra homeworld. Keep your fingers crossed the Kilrathi haven't found it, because there you will arm and load the T-bomb for the final run. I'll be talking to you again, I have no doubt. Okay. So we just need to make it to that first, uh, or that second depot there. That's fine. And, uh, yeah. Them blowing up the Templar bomb would be quite bad. Okay. What do we got here? Uh-oh. Dark had drawn me right away. So, yeah, you gotta watch for that. There you go. Yeah, so now we're starting to get to the point in the game where you got to be aware, as soon as you jump in the zone, of dealing with enemies. So just uh, stay on them. Use a combination of your guns and your missiles, and no problem. Okay, now those Drowthies showed up out of nowhere. I don't know where they came from, but no problem. Okay. Now, uh, you, I personally like to make sure that... Um, that my wingmen are helping me and not leaving me to deal with six fighters all alone. Because a lot of times what will happen is they'll start going after the cap ships right away. Which, for the most part, again, most of the time is fine, but when you have six fighters attacking at once, that could make life kind of difficult. So we're going to slow down a little bit. All right, good. And now we can actually avoid the Corvettes, I think. Yep. No point in dealing with them when we don't have to on the final run, or the on the final missions. All right, go get them. Watch and learn. Oh, I'm watching. I'm watching. I want to see what kind of uh, what neat things you're going to do here. Okay. Now constantly be switching your targets there because they can uh, they can gang up on you kind of quick. There's one right there. Let's kind of see if we can get him there. There you go. And uh, with the vat tops, you you can stay with them just a little longer because they they don't break as fast. So. Um, so if you stay with just a hair longer, you may be able to get the final kill, the final blowing, which is good. Okay, come on, guys, help me out here. Come on, wingman. Come through for me. Good. Thank you. And uh, you may not want to run into these guys here because we're going to be dealing with a bunch of tough fighters coming up. Okay, now we'll just stay on this back side. There we go, good. Now there's some of these Strakas. So again, your wingman will start to go after the uh, the uh, cap ships. So we want to make sure that they're attacking targets close to us. Because I mean, I think it's jeez, yeah. jeez, come on, let me. Holy crap! Wow. Yeah, those Strakas can gang up on you kind of quickly. Though. Come on, get out of here. Yeah, after run out of there for just a little bit. And my target system's down. Oh boy. Jeez. Okay. Oh my goodness. That was insane. And now I don't know who's going to be coming after me. Well, that adds a whole other level of challenge to this viewers, wouldn't you say? I'm going to do the stopping trick because I want to I wanna find that stock and wait for him to come after me. Where are you, Mr. Strucker? Come on. Right, there he is. Right, this could be kind of difficult. I have no idea where he is and how close he is. Ugh. There. Jeez. Oh, well. Okay. Fair enough. Whatever. Ain't no thing. Okay, what do we got here? Well, we have 
a destroyer, and I think it's some Sorthax. Yeah. Uh-oh. Who'd they get? Oh man, they got Maniac. So, Sorthax again. Uh, there's four of them. Just like pack things, you want to uh, trail them from behind and uh, just blow them up like that. See, they have, they're kind of like pack things, except they have a little bit stronger rear guns. So just kind of stay with it. Stay with it as long as you can. There we go. Got it. And good, Vagabond. Thank you. There's a Straka. Wait, I hate those stupid things. I'm going to deal with a Straka. Hopefully. No. Yeah. Shoot. Okay, maybe we'll get this sword attack then. Ooh. Okay. Whoa, hello. Yeah, don't run into the sword attacks there. I think Vagabond's on the Straka, so that's good. Man, this not having a targeting system sucks. Okay, what do we got here? What's this? Oh, it's just a strike. Okay, cool. Oh, uh, by the way, Maniac going down is um, the second wingman that we picked. And again, there's nothing you can do about that. Uh, he's going to go down no matter what. So, there we go. Yeah, that's sort of actually really far out. So we'll let him take care of that, and we'll be right back once he's dead. Okay, you got him. Now what? Darkets. Hooey. Okay. Fair enough. Man, I can't even tell how far out these things are. Okay. That's okay. I'm just going to start letting missiles go and hope for the best. Why not? There we go. That, that's a great strategy against, you know, a lot of these dark, uh, it's swarms of darkets. Good. Excellent. We need to, we, uh, got our mission objectives. Great. And I don't think we have to deal with this destroyer, so, nope. We're gonna move on. Okay. Whew. That was really close, viewers, and incredibly intense, but we did it. Now, we just need to communicate with this depot. See, you don't need a targeting system. Targeting systems are for sissies. I don't need to know where my enemies are. I like that British voice. Excalibur, you are clear to land. Well, I hope that T-bomb is still there. That'd be kind of sad if it wasn't. Okay, well, whew. That was a close one, viewers, but we have made it. So, now, uh, all we need to do is load up the T-bomb and go take out Kilra. And we're going to do that on the next episode. But until then, this is VCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.